Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to Banjo 2E. Last time we entered uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon and completed everything up here that we can in the town area. Nice little place here. But, and then also last time, Mumbo used magic which made it so we can permanently breathe in the water here and not have to hold, like, run out of air and drown or anything. So today we're going to do exactly just that and swim under the water. So yeah, there's a perfectly carved circle right here. Some weird, um, anemones, I guess. We don't need to go in that one. You can shoot their eyes, but yeah, with the, um, swimming controls, this place is way more easier to explore. I'm not gonna shoot a grenade that close. Yeah, so now we can swim in here. Just shoot them in the eyes and they'll collapse. There's a spaceship here that came through the top of the... Through the top, I'm guessing. We also learned how to do this last time. Oh, you can swim while doing it. Yeah, uh... Using the ice eggs, we also learned. There's a octopus thing here, and they're really annoying, the hitbox, but you, you have to freeze them and then swim on past. Because they'll do a bunch of damage to you, and you pretty much cannot get past them. But here we are, the coolest part of this level, Atlantis. Yeah, this is like the main hub, second hub technically for this area. You've got the town as like the hub, but then you've got Atlantis here because every place under the sea leads here. Which is really cool, I like it a lot. Alright, I don't know which way to go first actually. You know what, we'll go up here. I don't think there's a teleport need for this, but I'm pretty sure this is Humble Wumba's area. There's a glow boy here, yep. Alright, we'll go do that in a bit. See, so we don't have to worry about, or like, hurry up or anything while we're in here. Because of the oxygen being really good. Quinn, don't jump on my wardrobe. Get down. Get down. Come on. No. Off, off that. Come on, good. No, come on, good boy. Oh. Big cat now. Um, alright. Stay there, good boy. Okay, in here is the final... Not final. Well, yeah, the final thing we learn in this area, in this world. Talon Torpedo. Just once you go through the water like a torpedo. Left stick to steer and A to speed. X to cancel if I don't know how to read. It still rhymes. Sit there, Queen. Good boy. So basically, what he said now, if you use, if we use the left trigger, we'll do it outside, not in here. Also, this place is just the electric eels layer, there's only two in here, but... Yeah. Well, cool that they have a layer. Okay, so there's some angel fish up there with Jiggy in it. So what we do, to get it, we have to shoot Kazooie through it. We'll zoom in for this. No, we won't, that's horrible. And, oh, Queen, get down! Oh, no. Well, he's on my wardrobe now. Uh oh. Uh, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, the angel fish. Where's he gone? There it is. So with Kazooie, it's a bit hard to control, but you can fly Kazooie. There we go. We did it. Flying her through the um angel fish somehow collects the jiggy, but yeah. Here's another thing we can do. Alright. Is this a Kazooie door? It is. If it's got Kazooie's face on it, she can blast through it. You've probably seen a few rocks with her face on that we can go through. Ah, Quinn scratched my arm and I dragged him off there. Oh, ancient swimming baths. Nice. Um, there's somewhere in here that you're expected to come back to if, like, after on a later level when you learn something else with Banjo or Kazooie. But, using that jump glitch I did, you can actually just bypass that completely. You're probably expected to use Kazooie using her backflip, but we don't even need to do that. Ah, no, I don't like these heels, they look like retards. But yeah, you can just <laughs> glitch your way up. It's not cheating because it's left in the game and it's only a page, so what and it saves time, so what does it matter? Hi. 
And there we go. There's no else in here. I'm pretty sure the gin jar has a min jar. Pretty sure he is anyway. Yeah, it's a yellow one. Wait, no. Yeah. I'm gonna say... No, it was the orange one. Orange family we completed. Oh, there's now a bunch of things all over my floor and probably some broken figures that were on top of my wardrobe. Ugh, he just jumps on top of the wardrobe even though there's boxes blocking him from getting on. He just pushes them all off. No, he can't. Okay, so these mermaid statues here. On this door, is it this door? Or did I already open this? Oh no. Uh, oh, this one, right. Ah, it's a puffer fish, I don't like them. Okay, so there's a few signs here. Pi, line, omega, line, triangle, triangle. Uh, okay, so you've got to find the statues over here. So the first one was pi. I mean, this one, isn't it? Hi. Then it was line. Oh my god, I hate these puffer fish. Line. Omega. What? Fortnite in Banjo Kazooie. And then two triangles. I don't know, I don't really like the eyes on these mermaids, too. We just take a look at them. Yeah, it's kind of disturbing. <laughs> uh. There we go. So in here is um, something which pretty cool, but it's one of the reasons I want like homing eggs is really useful for this challenge in here too. We just go all the way up here. Without homing eggs, this can be a difficult thing to do. Here we go. Hello there. Oh, hi. I'm Chris. Chris. Not very pig-like if you ask me. Actually, it's crispy bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation trying to photograph these lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. But these orbital fish keep attacking me. Why not just get a spear gun? <laughs> this camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down, down there instead. So we're gonna say yes, but oh, you can't really see it right now. Actually, you can. His camera is actually a Game Boy Advance, not a Game Boy with a camera attached to it. Because I don't know if anyone now like people that watch me or just I don't know. The Game Boy camera was an accessory you could put onto the Game Boy and take very good pictures with. So yeah, he expects us to follow him down there, but instead, what we do is go in the corner. And then we can aim down, but we can just shoot eggs, but because of the homing cheat we have on. It's not a cheat, it's, uh, whatever. Homing eggs. Hope you're ready, here they come. So yeah, where's the first one? We have to just shoot fish for a minute now. So because of the homing eggs, they're really useful on this mission. Look, I can shoot there, and that'll just kill him instantly. Alright. Really ten intense music just for this too. It's for, a for protecting a pig trying to take pictures of a Game Boy. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Oh. Uh oh. We've got enough eggs to do this way. There's more down there too. But we have another like... For God's sake, I hate the aiming in this game. It's terrible. Like, moving the stick up, it, the cursor just moves straight back into the middle. I don't know why. They couldn't just have it, like, stay where you moved it. Because that would make aiming so much easier in this game. No. That's the last one. Yeah. Okay, the up one just disappeared. Thing that I'll do, I'm back off to the surface. Hang on a sec, I'm pretty sure Game Boys don't work on the water if you... Whatever. It's a British pig too. Okay, that's a nice view up his shorts, as you can see there's no inside to his model. I got all the shots I needed. Perhaps this thing I found early may interest you. And it sure does. Now we have to swim all the way down. No, yeah, it's a solid object. It would sink, actually. Oh, solid gold object would sink to the bottom, wouldn't it? Like, because there's nothing inside. Well, no, the, yeah. If there was nothing inside of it, then... It'd flaw because it'd have oxygen in there. I know some stuff, I'm not that dumb.
Alright, so now where shall we go? Did I get the teleporter here actually? I did. Um, did we go in this one over here? I don't know. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this is the seaweed sanctum. Oh no, it's the fishing bath. Wait, no, that was the seaweed sanctum, damn it. They all look the same because they just. It's just a pool of water with eels in them. Okay, seaweed sanctum. I need a drink first, one minute. So, yeah, any of these things here can just be. Live seaweed. Like this one. Um, which one would be this one? Yeah, we're just gonna climb up here and this will lead us to another area of the level. I wanna get some eggs actually, I used a few. Never mind. Um, I'm pretty sure actually we get like more eggs on the next cheat thing we use. What, what am I doing with this? That's so annoying. Alright, there we go. Why was Kazooie just doing the flap thing? Or the double jump? Uh, just run past this guy. You fucking asshole! oh my god. Alright, here he is a little... Now give me health, you little shit. Alright, well that's that terrible room done. And now we're back over here. Um... I'll wait for these eggs to give me some regular ones. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the big fish cave. Why is it the big fish cave, you might ask? Well, if we just wait a second... Oh my god, there it is! The big fish, it's terrifying. So this fish is actually the one that ate Jolly's partner. Yeah, um, well, he doesn't look very vicious, because he's not really attacking us. I mean, it does look kind of scary, when he just appeared out behind those rocks. We've got the teleporter here. Right, but all you have to do, use grenades and blow his teeth up, so we can get into his mouth. Because Jolly's wife, or whatever she is, friend, just turns out to be an idiot and just went f swam straight into his mouth. Because look at this guy, he's just f swimming around with his mouth, like, hanging open. It's not his fault. Oh, for God's sake, the collision on him is terrible, though. That's his fault. Maybe he's a monster because of that. Stop. Right, there we go. Zoom in again. Please let me in your mouth. Alright, finally, in the fish's mouth, it's kind of disgusting actually. What the hell? There's a few sailor pirate boys in here. Hopefully, they give me health. But aren't you useless? Well, anyway, in here, there's a weird organ system. What the hell? There's a black ginger. Um, it's not specific color wise, it'll just randomly spawn one in there. Down the other weird hexagonal organ system, we have- oh god, this is disgusting. And the floor is a weird colour too, no I'm joking, but this- whatever this person is. Ah, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary, my key partner, I'm Jolly Roger, I was out on one of those blubber way races when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. I'll soon- it'll soon be happy hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that, I'm sure he'll give you one. So this little- this tar just walks off back over there, it doesn't give us anything. Apparently the fish knocked her off and ate her hole, I'm not too sure about that, like... Really? I mean, he would have had to swim right the way to the top of Jolly Ro like the lagoon, which doesn't seem actually likely. Also, how is she planning on swimming back to the surface, exactly? I mean, the water is oxygenated, so anyone can swim down here for as long as they want now, but... That just looks weird, that fish. Um, yeah. I don't know how much I've done, actually, in this level. We've been recording for another 20 minutes, probably. Okay, so it turns out that I went the wrong way, because the tunnels in this area are really crappily laid out, but... Let's do this while we're here. 
That, okay, that was pointless. Let's bust this door off. There we go. And let's swim inside the UFO. Because this is going to go well. I don't like this area too, either, really. We've got ice eggs. Talk to this guy. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Wow, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Alf, Betty, and Gamma. We're also in a bit of a pickle rick on the. I get, let me guess, you need a phone home, right? No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. And we do. That, that's not a gin job there, by the way. That's a fake gin job that we don't want. So we conveniently have crystallized ice. And we have to power up the upper crystals within 20 seconds, which... I, another reason I love the fantastic aiming in this game, because you cannot move it properly, and I can't shoot for shit in here. See, look at that! I Oh my god, I hate the aiming, it's terrible. You have failed us, pathetic earthlings. Fixed your own ship, then. By the way, do any of you have green cards? Alright, can I do the last one in, like, no seconds? I did, thank god. Thank you, Earthling Baron Bird. Now please exit our ship. As we need to leave, uh, we are late for dinner, I can't speak it up. Uh, any chance for a reward? If we landed on a shiny thing, you may have that. Now go. Yeah, so they conveniently landed their UFO on a Jiggy too, so that's... Splendid. Yeah, I'm kind of not in the mood now, this level and out to both sides has passed by and annoyed me. And the seaweed sanctum. Main ga driving gauge, activating nav scanners, strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. I hate, I hate cutscenes that don't let you speed it up, it's so dumb how slow it goes. But yeah, no one in this town notices like a really strange shaped UFO flying over, but... Yeah, we'll see those guys again somewhere else in the game, it's alright. In case you didn't, couldn't get enough of them. Right, well, I'm just gonna end off this video here. Because I've had enough now. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, so... Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.